I want to make one prediction. I'm not calling around. I predict that when I meet Joe Frazier, this will be like a good amateur fighting a real professional. This yeah. will be like a kid out of the Olympics meeting the fastest heavyweight champion that ever lived. This will be no contest. This fight will be much easier. He will be easier to hit. He will not be as much trouble or as awkward as Oscar Bonavino. Joe Frazier, this will go down. I predict that the fans will be angry. They'll be mad at the uh, 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 critics. They'll be mad at the experts for misleading them so much. You this man time. will be you completely got, out of hey, You got time. Outclass. You got time. This will you, be no look, contest. Look, That's look, all I want to say. No, all right. What do you no, say, no, Joe? No, what do you say to that? I'd say nothing but a bunch of noise. Yeah. That's all. He's going way back in the time right. of, uh, let's say, 20 years ago. Yeah. You know what I mean? This is the no, day, man. You understand? I yeah. just want to You're not fighting glory. You're not fighting. Fighting Oscar oh, Bonavino, you're not fighting Sonny Liston, you fighting Joe well, Frazier. Everybody know that. That's not the point. That's the point. Yo, what, what? Your... Okay, if Joe Frazier whoops me, I'm getting on my hands and my and knees. Crawl across the ring. Crawl across the ring. Look up to you, say you are the champion. Well, you are the greatest. Let me know. You might get on the spot. I'm trying to get you on the spot if you think you're so good. Oh, 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 they can pick it up. Now the whole of the gorilla. Got a captive, a gorilla. Ali, psychologically savage, uh, Fraser worse than anybody I've ever seen. I mean, worse than than uh, Foreman, because Foreman only got it for one fight. This guy got it for three fights. Get the man on out of here. Because I'm going to do something to you. You got all the time. And in you're the world. in Manila, you're in my country, too. Yeah. I'm going to win every round, because over in that country, I the one who not. wins is the one who, the one who loses is the one who gets hit on the head the most. I, uh, did the I'm going to hit you on your head the most. I promise. Uh, I yeah, promise you, I'll hit you on your head the most. That, uh, when I come down today, you know, we're not gonna get all worked up, and uh, we're not gonna make I'm not, I'm just too the much truth. noise because uh, I'm just telling the truth. I don't want to be brand with that. Uh, I'm just gonna hit you on your head. Kind of, uh, I hit your situation. head. Get about the I'm head just gonna hit you on your head. What about your body? And not really recognizing that he was really being a little too cruel. It's gonna be a thriller and a chiller and a killer when I get the gorilla in Manila. Dug deep into Fraser's psyche. I mean, you know, it was just, you get, you start to kid with a guy and you start to get under his skin and when any little thing you say becomes huge. Well, Fraser was that. By this time, he had really perfected his act. He had a little, he had a little gorilla. He'd pull out and, and, and punch the little gorilla and he had a chilla and Marilla, and a, you know what I mean? Chilla and Manila with a thriller and Manila with a gorilla and Manila. By, by the time he got through rhyming, Chiller, Thriller, Manila, Gorilla, I mean, he, he just wouldn't stop. He, he had 15 new rhymes every day. Well, number one, he's too ugly to be the world heavyweight champion. <laughs> Joe Frazier. Joe Frazier is so ugly, his face should be donated to the Bureau of Wildlife. Man's too slow. Man's too ugly. Man can't think. He's a Geechee. There he is, Joe Frazier! Joe Frazier! Joe Frazier! Joe Frazier! Joe Frazier! Joe Frazier! Get him out of here! You're making him out of here, man! But Frazier was training hard. I mean, Frazier was training hard. You really want to hurt him, do you? For you 15 better believe for 15 rounds, I want to beat on him. You see, that's what I, I meant when I said, to, do you hate him? I mean, there's this thing in you that wants really to hurt him. Well, the main thing about it, uh, I figure like when you knock a man out, you take him out of his misery. Suffer him a little bit, beating on him, that hurts him more than anything in the world. I'm going to knock him out. I'm going to knock him out. He must fall. He must fall. He must fall. Something I tell him during the instructions, when the referees give us instructions, are the first clinch or two we in, whisper it in his ear. He's a little shorter now, so I can just look right down on him and, you know, Joe, so and so and so and so. Joe, so and so, be good, Joe. Now, I'd be a good but Now, oh, now, Joe, don't do that now. You know, I got something to tell him. He says that he's going to whisper something to you, the first clinch. Mm -hmm. Do you have any guess what he's going to whisper? Whatever it is, I'm going to whisper right back in the same thing.
tells Ali not to get that hand behind the neck. Wait. Well for Ali that that missed. That didn't. Waving Frazier on. Ali had made a strong comeback. There he goes down on his back. 